countdown going in three, two, one, go. All right, uh, so uh, we're gonna try and get through a lot of stuff here pretty quickly. The first two missions go by very quickly. So uh, Twitch chat, I'm gonna need your energy. Um, so uh, main movement mechanics of this game are going to be, you obviously have left and right, you have a jump, you have a jump roll and a cloak. Um, so we're gonna be getting through these guards by stealthing through. That's kind of the main mechanic of the game. Um, and grabbing these little key cards that open up the door at the very end of the level. Um, so another thing to keep in mind is we want to be uh, uncloaked for as long as possible because cloaking halves your running speed. So obviously this is a speed run. We want to be moving as quickly as possible. Um, another thing, uh, jump rolling in the air is just slightly faster than uh, walking on the ground. So uh, anytime we have an open space, we're going to be doing that as much as possible. Um, I'm going to have C Average talk just a little bit about some of the more um, demanding mechanics of the game, um, uh, more specifically like the non-global cycles and stuff like that. So I'll throw it over to him. Yeah, so uh, the entire game, uh, each room is on its own cycle, and the cycle starts as soon as you enter a room or um, you know reach a checkpoint or the mission starts. Um, something of that nature. So we can kind of use this to our advantage um, because there are no global cycles. So we can enter and exit rooms and re-enter rooms quickly um, to reset cycles. We can grab checkpoints uh, to reset cycles. Um, and um, some of that we'll see um, here quickly. Um, we'll do a little bit of the transition um, buffering to um, kind of deload um, some of the assets of the game, um, reset some cycles, stuff of that nature. Yeah, so a lot of this game is just heavily movement-based, uh, really movement op optimization, room, room memorization. Gosh, that's a mouthful. Um, so uh, just moving as quickly as we can um, through this, learning the patterns of the guards, of the different traps. Um, as we keep going through all of these different levels, um, more and more traps are going to be added um, that make it harder and harder for us to do our job as the master spy and just not being seen. We're kind of a pacifist in this run. We don't want to hurt anybody. So we just kind of run through everything and uh, we don't care. So um, getting through, this is the second mission of the game. We have the laser fields now. We have the security cameras. Um, the motion detectors, as you see here on the screen, um, I'm doing a very poor job of getting through them. Um, but you cannot move, obviously there are motion detectors, you cannot move in them. The red line at the very bottom of them is the only part that is active. So there are some ridiculous strats that use um, jumping through the triangle. The, the lesser red triangle up there, but I am not going for them in this run. Um, uh, I will be trying to go for most of the fast strats in this. I really want to showcase a couple of those um, using some of those um, screen buffering um, tactics that um, C mentioned just a little bit ago. Because um, really, some of these rooms, you only need about a half a second ahead of the cycle to um, be able to get on what I guess you call it like a zero cycle. Um, so a lot of this is just room optimization. Um, grabbing these key cards. I'm going to go for the safe strat here because I don't feel comfortable. Um, so yeah, we are almost through mission two, um, getting on to mission three. Um, see, is there anything else you want to talk about before we start moving on to other things? Yeah, we can uh, talk about the mission summary, Skip. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure. Uh, I don't actually remember if we got it in the first no. mission. <laughs> no, we didn't. Um, so that see, uh, screen at the end of a mission that says, you know, it gives you your grade and your time and all of that. Um, we can actually nice. skip that. Um, I don't know the exact timing, um, but there's a frame or two where we can um, skip that cutscene um, and then we just save eight seconds by not watching it. But I'm going to try we... and skip it. No, All right, didn't so get it. This, this is the screen that we're talking about. If we skip this, um, it saves about eight seconds, but it 
um, potentially soft locks the game because <laughs> there is another cutscene immediately after that. And if you skip that on the first or second frame that it loads, the game soft locks and you have to Alt F4 and relaunch it. <laughs> it's not awful if it happens. Uh, C can attest to that, but it is definitely uh, something you don't want to do. <laughs> yeah. So uh, now we're seeing basically the only other glitch that we use aside from the transition buffer. Um, if we roll jump right above a platform that we can jump up through, um, it lowers our hitbox and allows us to fall down through it instead, um, which is really probably the main main tactic that we use. Yeah, so it's probably, just from like a casual perspective, it's probably not as noticeable if you just look at it at face value. But there is no like button that says, oh, drop through this platform. Um, you have to either walk off the edge of a platform or we found the, the way to do the um, platform clip. Uh, I missed time that jump. Um, did it again. Um, so yeah, we use the platform clip to skip a lot of parts of rooms, um, some that are actually quite annoying. Um, we'll see a number of them. Gosh, dart traps are going to be the bane of my existence right now. Okay. Getting through here. Right here, I'm going to showcase a hard strat. Hopefully, I can get it first try. Oh, so close. We're going to try it again. I'm going to try and do a cycle that is not intended and jump over this guard. Hitboxes on the guards are a little bit weird, we found out. You can actually jump over them. Uh, so that's a pretty tight cycle there. I'm really happy that uh, we were able to show that off. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. That was really sketchy. I did not uh, <laughs> get the tiger to pounce over to the right, but I guess we, uh, we made it work. Um, so coming up here, there are some doors. Now, doors, as are in a lot of speed games, uh, doors are pretty broken. And this game is no exception to that rule. Um, we are going to grab this little uh, beacon right there. It opens up a door. Forgot a tiger was there. Uh, we're going to jump over him this time. Um, doors, if we do a screen buffer, um, which I'm going to do in this next room, right here, if you are off of the screen, I'm going to show it again right here, you can actually just walk through doors because the doors are not active if you are not on the screen. So if you do a screen buffer, you can just walk through certain doors. The only stipulation is that you have to be next to a loading zone or a screen transition to do that. Um, so just fun little things that we get to throw in during the run. Um, there's there's got to be more somewhere in this run. We're constantly finding. I've learned so much about this game, even in the last four hours, <laughs> just being next to uh, being next to the average. Like, I didn't know, for instance, I play this game. Let me focus for a second. Let me get through this, and then we'll talk. OK. Uh, I play this game one-handed. Uh, and I thought that was normal, but uh, I, I guess it's not. There are a bunch of control schemes that people use. Um, so yeah, I just, I guess I'm taking off after uh, half-coordinated a little bit here. So. Um, yeah, I play this game one-handed. Um, some people use the arrow keys. It's just, I don't know, it's all over the place, and it's really fun um, to, to see the variety. A lot of it is also like um, little route changes in this game that differ between runners. We do different rooms. We do certain rooms differently than each other. And sometimes it's faster, but uh, honestly, not always. Um, so it's fun to have a little bit of variety in here, um, and you're not just always on this set path. Um, so yeah, um, I guess these are checkpoints. I just picked up a checkpoint right there. Um, we can reset the rooms. We'll use those in a couple places to get on the correct cycle. Um, I'm actually going to throw it over to Covert Muffin really quick uh, for maybe one or two quick donations. All right, sounds good, Obi Doby. We have $25 from N Dog saying, "Glad to see my boy Obi Doby running Master Spy. Good luck and have fun." Thanks, man. Appreciate it. We also have $25 from Denitruff saying, love the content. <laughs> All right. 
Thanks, Muffin. Wahahaha. <laughs> 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 that was a terrible impression. All right. We're going to get this cycle right here. Perfect. All right. Glad that happened first try. We don't. There are certain rims you don't want to see twice in this game, those being one of them. Um, right here, we're going to do another screen buffer. This allows us to jump on these pistons before they open. Ah, I didn't do the fast cycle here. There is a way if you react right as you fall into that room, um, you can get a faster cycle. Saves about eh, maybe three seconds. Um, there's a lot of that in this run. Just minor, minor time saves. We're gonna do another screen buffer. Jump up here, double jump, fall back down before the robots turn around. Um, the factory is very technical, um, very automated. There's just a lot of traps kind of everywhere that are in your way. Um, so I was not supposed to cloak there. Um, but yeah, um, see, is there anything else you want to, you want to throw in? Um, I, I definitely would agree that the factory is probably the most technical and yeah. potentially the most difficult, um, mission of the game. So we have five missions and mission four is really where, um, where everything just ramps up to, yeah. to kind of an 11. Um, I will say the, the game is an easy, well, the game, um, has simple mechanics, but is kind of, is hard to master. Um, the speed Master's run, high. yeah, the speed run is honestly really uh, beginner friendly. Um, this was my first speed game, and it was great. Uh, it's it doesn't have a lot of um, you know entry barriers or anything like that. There aren't a ton of tricks, um, so it's really nice, um, a really nice first speed game. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Muffin, if you want to read maybe one or two more, I would be very much appreciated. Yeah, absolutely. We have $50 from Melody Warp 154. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Melody? Saying, Joey, no! <laughs> oh wait, Obi Dobi is running. Watch out for the uppers and the puppers. The uppers and the puppers. <laughs> Happy to see you both making the big leagues at SGDQ. <laughs> Thanks, man. We also have $50 from Very Suspicious Subject saying, Roses are red, violets are red. Everything is red. My garden is on fire. Well, I hope, uh, I hope everything's okay with that donation. <laughs> Gosh, lightning. Be nice to me. There it is. All right, yeah. Everything just kind of keeps ramping up more and more, like we said. Um, very tight timing. Some of these rooms we have found faster strategies for, um, but they're not entirely possible. Um, some of the stuff was found that you could do on a laggy computer because you can input double jumps quicker because of the frame lag. Um, but we're not obviously playing on uh, a computer like that. So uh, can't do it here. I would love to see this game tasked. Um, to see uh, what all could be pulled off. Um, I think the least amount of deaths that I've ever had was maybe 25, um, which is, I think, my world record run. But it would be insane. It would be insane to see like a zero death of this game. So I don't know. Maybe we'll try and work on that. Um, this is one of these rooms where uh, Specifically, C average and I's route differs. He goes, we're going to do a platform clip here, fall through that. Um, specifically, he goes left and I go right. I don't really have a, a good explanation for why I go right or why he goes left. It's literally just personal preference. Nice, first try. That is a really tight timing to fall in there. Um, there is a safety that is a little bit easier. Um, but I really do try and want to do the the hard strats as I run face first into a grinder. So our favorite trick is coming up here. Yeah. Um, we're about to skip a lot of things, and it's going to be great. All right. Yeah. You'll just you'll just have to sit back and enjoy. If I can do it first try, which I did. Nice. <laughs> you don't even get to see those three rooms. <laughs> All right, we are going into mission five. This is the final mission of the game. 
um, just kind of gets more and more difficult. This time around, the guards uh, will now react to you. Um, if you hit a, a plane that they are standing on, they will turn around. Oh, Master Spice dead. What are we going to do? Press F to pay respects. Press Chat. F to pay respects. Or, or, or you can press F to dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. This is a speed run after all. I literally just found out about that three hours ago. <laughs> See, average, we were in the practice room and I, and he, we were just wrapping up everything, and, uh, gosh, we were wrapping up everything, and he's like, yo, did you know that if you press F, you can make Master Spy dance? <laughs> I was like, why did I not know about this sooner? <laughs> so, yeah, there's little Easter eggs like that make this game really fun. I'm just trying to go too fast right now. I need to, I need to calm down. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a door a clip right here off this transition. Skip right through it. Don't even worry about it. Continue on. Um, I guess one thing that we should also tell, these traps aren't uh, entirely self-explanatory, but the sparkly fields, gosh, I need to slow down. The sparkly fields right there um, uh, are fields that don't allow you to cloak. Um, so you have to be uh, decloaked as you go through them. So um, a lot of timing based. There are actually quite a bit of instances in the run where you will, I don't know if you'd be able to tell or not, but I am cloaking and uncloaking in very specific patterns um, so that I can conserve my momentum from my jump. Because even when you're in the air, as you probably may have just saw right there, if you cloak while in the air, you will kind of like meteor towards the ground and stop your momentum. Um, so kind of your cloak management is really key to this run. Um, this shark, this special shark, I'm gonna dance for a little bit in front of him. Uh, this shark I have named Bane. He didn't. He played nice this time. He I named him Bane. He's the bane of my existence. Uh, he has ended a lot of runs. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna have to wait here just a second. Jump up, collect the key cards. Same old, same old. Um, get through these. Oh, I I completely forgot. Did I mention? See, did I did I mention cloak jumping? Um, I mean, you did a little bit just now. Okay, well, <laughs> I mean, I guess we should talk about it. That is like a main movement mechanic of the game, and I save it save it till last. Um, cloak jumping is a intended mechanic. You'll see it right there. Um, it's happened a lot during this run, um, where um, I will be cloaked on the ground. Oh, I went for the risky strap there. Uh, I am cloaked on the ground. I will jump. I'm going to focus for a sec. I need to get this. Ooh. There it is. All right. Okay, we're good. Um, you are cloaked on the ground. <laughs> I reset the room. <laughs> uh, okay, I did it correctly that time. You are cloaked on the ground. You jump. You roll and then you recloak before you hit the ground. It's an excellent uh, movement mechanic for getting around enemies, getting over enemies, stuff like that. I think we just do it a lot more than we're actually supposed to. Um, kind of abuse an intended mechanic um, as you do with a lot of speed runs. So, um, this is the dark missions. Um, the lights are turned out. You kind of just have to memorize where the guards are, know their patterns, as with the rest of the game, um, thankfully, in the speedrun, we do know that information. Once you beat this game on Novice, we are playing on Novice difficulty. Um, novice includes checkpoints. Then there is a, uh, another mode called uh, Master, which uh, takes away all checkpoints. Um, ah, I'm not used to this strat. I'm gonna do the C, I'm gonna do the C strat right here. Or not. I should just do it the way I know. Okay, we're fine. Um, what was I saying? 
Um, so you're talking about difficulties. Um, All right. The master difficulties. Or you wanna you wanna explain it? Yeah. Um, so novice is what we're doing now. We have checkpoints and whatnot. Uh, master is the exact same missions. There just are no checkpoints. Um, and then blind master difficulty is master, but all of the levels are in the dark, and it's a real pain. It is a it is a pain. Um, we have time coming up soon, so. Yeah, yeah, we'll be getting ready. This is the final boss. Uh, enjoy his laugh. Oh, you're gonna get to hear it again. Don't worry. Oh. All right. One more laugh. And time. time. All right, that is the Master Spy Run, any percent run. Uh, thank you so much for watching and your support. Thank you guys to the guys in the back of the couch, the average and fur, really appreciate it. Shout outs to everybody back home, my family, my mom who has no idea what's going on. Um, just everybody in the community, um, the Turbo Gun Discord, um, if anyone wants to join. Um, this game is really awesome to get into, a uh, quick pickup. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it, and we will see you later. Thanks, guys.